One thing I love about the world and about humans is no matter where you go, people will find some kind of way to get high. We have to. The pain of existence is just too much. Sri Lanka, it's called the Pearl of the Indian Ocean. In 2019, Lonely Planet ranked at the world's top travel destination, saying endless beaches, welcoming people, oodles of elephants, cheap prices, fun trains, and flavorful food make Sri Lanka irresistible. But that was 2019. Sri Lanka's energy minister says the country has no money left to pay for fuel imports. Sri Lankans are struggling under escalating costs. Sri Lanka is in a mess. Now in 2022, there exists a much, much different Sri Lanka. It started with a domestic terrorist attack in 2019 that spread fear among would-be travelers. Then in 2020, the pandemic, grinding tourism to a halt. Now in 2022, Sri Lanka is undergoing an economic crisis like few countries have experienced before. Prices for essential goods, everything from rice to fuel to medicine, have doubled, then tripled, then continued rising. Food is in short supply, and so is fuel, causing long lines at the pump, leaving citizens waiting for hours. With Sri Lankans caught in a turbulent storm of strife and uncertainty, citizens of all backgrounds took the only action they could. Eventually, storming the presidential palace, forcing President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to flee. Two weeks later, and I showed him. Touching down in the capital city of Colombo, I'm here in Sri Lanka for the first time on a mission to discover its food and to share it with the world. First of all, Sri Lanka or Sri Lanka? It's Sri Lanka. From Colombo, I'm traveling to the central highlands to the city of Kandy, then driving to the northernmost city of Jaffna. It smells a bit fishy here. Of course, it's a fish market. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm in search of the hidden stories of food and culture. This is not something that anybody in Sri Lanka can just go around and hunt. These guys have special privileges and special rights to continue their lifestyle, their way of life. Like eating with the veda. Pulling out this fat from the butt. No, no. <laughs> He's telling me right now, hey, don't eat it. It's not sushi. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I wasn't even tempted. The original inhabitants of this island, still living today, like they lived years ago. On the mic. <laughs> On the mic. Oh, we found Mark Wien's match. Look at that yummy face. What is going on here? Because festival of Jaffna. The Tamil people of Jaffna, with a month-long festival full of food. That was a mistake. And some unexplainable phenomena. I can't help but notice there's so many people here who have a lump on the back of their neck. Are women into that? The Malay people of Kandy, with impossible to find home cooking that may soon go extinct. For me, eating intestines, especially of a cow, it's like Russian roulette. I put the gun to my mouth, I slowly pull the trigger, and... What happened? Then there's the capital. Oh my God, it's water broke. <laughs> the melting pot of Sri Lanka's minority tastes all in one city. We eat this because instead of cheese, this gives that flavor. Yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> it's a cheese replacement. It's a cow brain. Guiding me on our journey, local Sri Lankan Ruzena. Yeah, right. She's made it her mission to share with the world all that Sri Lankan food has to offer. Ruzena says you are the best Malay food cooker she knows in Sri Lanka. Yeah, definitely. She said, yeah, definitely. <laughs> At a time when travelers are taking a rain check on Sri Lanka, my team and I are diving in head first. Right now, there is a food shortage. Who is this affecting the most? I'm not coming here in search of conflict. I'm coming here in spite of it. It looks like a puffer fish. Is that yummy? And to show you, amidst painful challenges and adversity. They created this tripod. Oh, off with the tripod. This pearl will shine again. Do I put it under here? It all begins in 24 hours. Oh, oh. gosh. Good? Yes. Oh, he's so proud of me. It's like, you're like the, the grandpa I never had.